Hello, and welcome to Notebook. In this video, I'll talk a little bit about Notebook's user interface. The documents you create in Notebook look and work just like a paper notebook. Each page in a notebook has a title, and this note page, titled Sales Meeting, has some content in its outline. Let's say I want to add some notes for another meeting. I'll just add a new note page by choosing the command from the page menu. And let's call this Marketing Meeting. You can add as many note pages to a notebook as you like. I can navigate to the page I was just on by clicking the minus on the page curl. So here's my previous page, and I can quickly go back to my new page by pressing the plus on the page curl. Divider pages are another kind of page you can add to notebook. You can use divider pages to group pages into sections and subsections just like in a paper notebook. Rather than create a new divider page right here, let's go to the contents page. To do that, I'm going to click on the tab named contents here in the tab strip. There's a contents page at the beginning of every notebook and it lists all the pages and dividers in the notebook. The contents page, like other divider pages, uses an outline to show its content. This outline is just like the outline in a note page, except each item is a page that lives in your notebook. Don't worry about the multidex. We'll cover that in a separate video. So for now, I'm going to hide it by clicking on the triangle. Here are the two note pages we created earlier, and they are actually located within a divider. I'm going to rename this divider to My Company. But let's say I want to create a subsection for Meetings. First, I go to the Page menu and choose New Divider. Then drag the divider to its new home under My Company, and then move the two meeting pages to the Meetings divider. It's pretty easy to set up whatever pages and dividers you might need to organize the content of a notebook. I hope you have some fun setting up yours. <laughs> 